58 years is a long time to work at the same place, but it's what one woman in Scranton has achieved holding an industry record. And even though this employee is set to retire later this month, her co-workers say her impact will last a very long time. Newswatch 16's Chelsea Stroop has the story. Virginia Goodrich is known around here as Ginger. Tina helps us with the bonus, but you're just as artistic as she is. She's an executive secretary and has been decorating the Christmas tree at the Greater Scranton Chamber of Commerce for 58 years. We've long joked that she actually runs the Chamber of Commerce, and in some ways she does. She is the she knows all of the history of the organization. She is has the, both the historical record, but also functioning in the role that she has, where she's been central to everything. She has been at the center, sometimes in a supportive role, often a supportive role, but central anyway. And as she holds each of the ornaments that have been collected over those decades, she simultaneously holds a record for the Association of Chamber of Commerce Executives. Yeah, she is the longest tenured employee of a Chamber of Commerce in the United States. But now, much to her co-workers' dismay. I, it, it keeps me up at night. It's time for her reign to end as she retires at the end of next week. I don't want to make any plans. I'm tired of making plans. I'm tired of calendars, schedules. I'm tired of being organized. I'm just tired, Chelsea, really. <laughs> Goodrich says a lot has changed since the day she started here in 1965 when she couldn't find the light switch. But I went back to the section where we had our office and my desk and I sat there in the dark until somebody came. <laughs> that was the first day. But she'll always be proud of the economic impact the chamber had that she helped achieve. So I'd say, do you know anybody that works at Scott Technology Park? Do you know anybody that works at the office park at Montage? Do you know anybody that's, you know, employed by one of these large companies that the chamber helped to recruit or sold them land or built them a building? And it, it just kind of keeps the economy going. That's why it's important. And it's one of the many reasons she will remain on the speed dial here at the chamber. Chelsea Stroop, Newswatch 16, Scranton. Congratulations.